Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is actually start a series of building out a new AI affiliate website using AI Wise Mind, and I'm gonna take you from beginning to the end. So in this video here, what I'm gonna show you how to do, or what I'm gonna show you how, what I do, is going out, finding a domain name, buying it, and setting up my hosting and installing WordPress. That's what I'm gonna cover in this video. And then in the upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you how I build these websites out into these massive AI websites that gets tons of traffic, which can ultimately lead to building up email lists, uh, promoting affiliate products, using AdSense, whatever it is you wanna to do to monetize them. So to get started, here's what I do. I use Namecheap to buy my domain names and I use hosting or for all my hosting. So I'll put the links below this video that'll take you to Namecheap if you wanna check it out. So first things first, I've decided what I wanna do is build a website based around a traveling location. And this is a very popular destination, especially on the East Coast of the United States, and that's Myrtle Beach. And so what I'm gonna do is build a website around Myrtle Beach. I'm gonna fill it up with questions that people ask, which are gonna be pretty easy to rank for. And then that's gonna bring in a lot of traffic. And then from there, I can do AdSense or I can add some type of affiliate products on there or even rent out spaces to businesses in the area that maybe want to just advertise on my website. So we'll just have to see what it brings us to at that point. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to use GPT-4. You can use 3.5 for this. I just find that uh, 4 usually gives you some better ones. And I'm gonna paste in down here. I'm gonna say, give me 25 domain names ending in .com I can use for building a website about traveling to Myrtle Beach. Or actually, let me rephrase this. Give me 25 domain names ending in .com I can use for building a website about Myrtle Beach. So that sounds better. I can use for building a website about Myrtle Beach. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it's gonna give us. Now, Other sometimes if I have no idea what I'm gonna use, I'll even put in give me 50 domain names or 100, and it'll just keep putting them out there uh, until you just find one that you like. Now, all of these will not be available. GPT-4, It's it doesn't sync up with the internet yet, so you can't just find out exactly what's available or not. So I'm gonna take these and copy them. And we're gonna go back over to Namecheap. I'm gonna to go to Domains, Bulk Domain Search, close this, and then in the search box, I'm gonna paste all these. And then I'm gonna untick this box to show premiums cause I do not want it to show premiums and click on Generate. And then this usually takes about one to two minutes. And if you scroll down, you're gonna start seeing some of these pop up if they're available. And right now they're actually on sale, $7.98 for a .com, so that's good. And then I can come down here and see all these domains that are available. AmazingMyrtleBeach.com, uh, Myrtle Beach Spotlight. I like that one. Uh, but some of these are kind of long. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go back here. And instead of saying Myrtle Beach, let's see if we can just tell it to do MB instead. MB. And let's see what it will do. And there we go. So now these domains are gonna be much shorter, much more brandable in my opinion. We'll give it just a minute to finish up and check these. Okay, we'll take these, copy it, go back here, and I'm gonna click on reset, paste these in, untick this box, and generate. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any more research. I don't like to take much more time than this to pick out one, so I'm gonna use this one here called amazingmb.com. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my cart, but before I purchase it, what I wanna do is go to my web hosting account and find out what my name servers are. And the reason you have to know your name servers is because I'm buying this domain name from Namecheap, but my web hosting is on Hostinger. So they're two separate websites, so you have to link them together. So if you get web hosting from Hostinger or any other place, wherever you get your web hosting from, they're going to give you name servers you can use. And what you do with those is if you want to direct a domain name from a different place to them, then you enter those name servers in and that's exactly what it'll do. If I jump over to my hosting or account, you can see here my name servers and these are what they are. And the only difference between these two is the number one and the number two. Now these name servers will most likely be different for you if you're using Hostinger and if you're using a different web hosting company, they're definitely going to be a lot different than this. So make sure you check that. If you can't find them in your hosting account, they'll be in your welcome email that you got when you signed up for web hosting.
Now, if you haven't signed up for hosting or yet, that link below will take you to this page here where you can find out the latest deal. Now, if you scroll down, these are the options you have. And as with any of the web hosts out there, or at least with the majority of them, to get the huge discount like this that they're offering, you got to pay at least six months or 12 months up front. So if you do like the premium plan, it's going to be like three bucks a month. You can do it for a year. It's going to be like $36 for the entire year. If you want more features such as what's in the business or the cloud startup, you can scroll down here. You can see the differences in them and then you can pick. For me personally, because I have so many websites, I actually do the cloud hosting. You do not have to do this cloud hosting if you're only planning on making a couple websites, five or 10, you don't need to do this. But if you wanna build out like an empire of sites, you may wanna go with something that's gonna be a little more powerful such as their cloud hosting. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see here that these are their plans. I'm on the cloud enterprise account. This is what I'm currently subscribed to. But once again, if you're just starting out, just grab one of these plans. You can always upgrade later if you want to. As you're signing up for a hosting account, if you notice down here, it's also going to say free domain name. So you can actually get your domain name free if you haven't signed up for an account yet with Hostinger. As you're going through the process, it'll ask you what you want your domain name to be. You can enter it in and then that's all you have to do. Since I'm using Namecheap to buy my domain name, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, process this checkout and then I'm going to add my name servers in and then I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so I just processed my order. You can see here, thank you for your purchase. Once again, guys, this is a brand new domain name. It's not an expired domain name. Remember that because a few videos down the road when you see the results I'm gonna be getting from this site, it's gonna blow your mind. So what I'm gonna do next is go over here and click on manage. And so on this page, all you have to do is come down here to where it says name servers and you're gonna click this drop down box and you're gonna pick custom DNS and you're gonna paste in your name servers. And all I have to do is change that to a two and then click this checkbox. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just telling Namecheap, hey, look, I know that I bought my domain here, but I have hosting on Hostinger. So um, these are my DNS servers. I want you to send my domain toward that hosting account and that's where I want it to use it. Now, if I jump back over to my hosting account and if I come up here and click on websites, it's going to show all of my current websites I have here. Uh, what I'm going to do is click here where it says create or migrate a website. And then I'm going to choose my hosting plan that I have. And then from here, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip again. And then right here where it says use an existing domain, we are going to add in the domain we just bought from Namecheap. So we're just going to paste that in there and click on continue. And look how fast that happened. It already knows that it's from Namecheap. So we're gonna click on continue and it's gonna take a few minutes here to set up the dashboard and then the website will be ready to use that fast. And this is another reason why I like to use Namecheap because this whole process of buying a domain name and having it active for a website only takes a couple minutes. Sometimes when you buy your domain name through Hostinger itself, it can actually take a couple hours for it to be set up and activated. You can see here SSL installed automatically, so it automatically does that for you. You don't have to worry about that either. It's almost done, so I'm gonna come up here and click on where it says Hostinger. It's gonna take me back to my main home page here. I'm gonna click on Websites. And then we have here where it says AmazingMB.com. So we're gonna go in and click Manage. And then I'm gonna to go to Auto Installer and click on WordPress. And then I'm just gonna fill out these credentials. So for my title, I'm just putting amazing MB and then I have my email address, my administrator username and password and we're gonna click next. And then I'm gonna click on install. And that's it. So now I'm gonna give it just a couple minutes. It's installing WordPress and then our website is gonna be ready to use that easy. And so once you do this a few times, you'll be able to go out and find domain names, buy them and set up your hosting in a matter of about five minutes or less. Now, after installing WordPress, it's taking us to this page here where you can see everything that's going on with it. You don't have to bother anything in here, but what you can do is come up here and you can click this link and it's gonna take you to your website, which is already active and ready to go now. 
So that's all we're going to do in this video. But in the next video, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a theme set up and installed on my site. And we're going to make some changes to our WordPress dashboard and make sure everything is set up the way it's supposed to be. And actually, I'll probably just let AI WiseMind do the majority of that for me. And I'll show you how all that works in the next video. If you want to see it, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click that bell icon. That way you'll get notified when I upload these future videos. That's it for this one, guys. Have a great day.